Well, welcome back. You know, New Year's is always a time for resolution and trying to better ourselves. Well, today we're joined by Sam Miller from BMO Harris, and we're going to talk about taking a financial physical. But first, Sam, I want to take a, kind of get a status report from you about how we stand on the agricultural front. Boy, it's, uh, it's tough, Mike, yeah. and it has been for the last several years. 2018, we started out with a little bit more optimism. Yeah. We actually saw uh, commodity prices coming up. And then all the trade kerfuffles started. And I like that word kerfuffle. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and it sure has been. Yeah. It was it was it turned really difficult uh, mid year and didn't get much better uh, to close out the year. And considering the downturn has been now like four years for dairy farmers, is that making it even tighter for them on their margins? With, without a doubt, without a doubt, we've seen working capital continuing to decline. Equity has been eroding, and as you know. Farmers are leaving the business. Yeah. Number of voluntary exits uh, has increased pretty significantly in, in 2018, and the strain is starting to show. Well, let's take a financial physical here, hopefully helping those that are staying in the industry and what they need to do. We've talked about it in the past, but what's kind of in your checklist? Well, it, as you turn the calendar over from 2018 to 2019, it's the end of a month, end of a quarter, end mm -hmm. of a year. So it's time to put your financial records together. What is that? That's your balance sheet, accounting of the assets and, the, and debt. It's the income statement, income, expenses, net income, cash flow statement, and most importantly, what's the budget going to be for 2019? What does it look like for this next year? Um, as a component of that, mm -hmm. how are you managing price risk? Oh, we know point. price risk has been volatile, mm -hmm. so what tools are you going to employ to manage price risk? Now, do I take all this information and to discuss it with you, my yeah, ag banker? With, without a doubt. So okay. first, we, we see our farm clients put that information together, then they sit down with their banker. Usually, the banker goes out to the farm because if there are follow-up questions, yeah. the information's right, right there. there. So uh, we just start working through the process. When you're in a multi-year cycle like we are, it's a longer process. It takes more time. Sometimes you've got a, the initial plan uh, has some challenges to it. So both the banker and the borrower go back to their, mm -hmm. to, to, you know, their offices, if you will, and say, hey, what else can we do to maybe make things work a little bit differently? Okay. And about the minute we have left when we talk about, obviously, things have changed for producers, but what about for agricultural bankers and lenders? Have things changed for you as well? Oh, there's no doubt they, they've changed. Uh, we've seen a greater degree of scrutiny from our regulators okay. because our loan portfolio is, is deteriorating. Mm -hmm. So it takes a lot more time when you work through challenging situations than when you have everything rolling along uh, on, on a very good uh, front. Communications have increased. Communications with both our, our borrowers that are struggling and communications with our borrowers that are doing well. Which is it, a good thing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and Frankly, if somebody's not continuing communication, that's a pretty big warning sign to the banker that there's a problem. Hmm. So we'll often ramp that up. So it takes a lot longer to get things done now, Mike, because of stacking up a couple of challenging years in a row. But again, great information. And really, this is a great time of year for that financial physical. Oh, without a doubt. You're not out busy in the field, so it's time to get to work and uh, putting together your plans for this next year. A man that's both financially and physically fit, our friend <laughs> Sam Miller. Sam, thanks, thanks for being on the program. Again, great advice, a good way to make 2019 a little bit more positive. Well, yet to come, a farm family whose goal is to leave their farm environmentally better than when they started farming it.